Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, can we wow. show this on our channel? Monetize, monetize, wow. monetize. Countdown to Tyler's first death. How do you feel? <laughs> <laughs> How feel long great. do you think it'll be before you die? Quick. It'll be quick. Don't worry. Uh, welcome back to episode 10 of our Dark Souls series. Thank you for making it this far. And if it's your first one, ya got some catching up to do. You missed out on some serious donut talk. A lot of donut talk. A lot of sandwich, biscuit talk. Well, a little bit mostly of food. All, the, all the bread mostly and Mostly we've hit a lot of carbs. <laughs> we've hit mostly carbs. All the breaded part of the food triangle. Thank you for joining us here today. Today is a no death run of Dark Souls, which I'm very excited to see. It'll be a first on this channel. It's true. I think you can do it. I can do it. But I don't have the utmost faith. That's not very nice. Well, I mean, only just based on previous experiences. How are my fellow fanwitches today? Let me know down below. <laughs> oh my god, it's amazing. The fanwitches. The fanwitches. The fellow fanwitches. I still think we should have gone with something sandwich. Is it too late? Those sandwich. Those like, sandwich those sandwiches. Gamers. Those that sandwich. That sandwich channel. Do you watch channel. that sandwich? What are you talking about? Do you watch about? that sandwich channel? I feel like that makes it sound like we are like what are a they, cooking what show. What do they though. do? Do they do they just make nice sandwiches? No, they play video games. They play video <laughs> games really poorly. It's great. I, I mean it's the perfect amount of confusion and ruining our own SEO. <laughs> it's you're not wrong. That's I, I mean that it's pretty ideal if you ask me. What day is it today? It is <laughs> <laughs> Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, <laughs> Thursday. I believe it's Friday. Hello. Happy Friday. Happy Friday, everyone. Kick it off the weekend. Oh, I get to play more Moonlighter tomorrow. You do. You. That's a that's a cool game. That it I, is I, a, I had never seen up until this point. I was so excited for this game to release because, one, it's a Snow Awesome game and I couldn't wait to play it. And two, just the look of it was so cool. That the cover, I just wanted that in my game room. The same with Dead Cells. It's just I wanted both of those so bad in my collection. So yeah, join us tomorrow morning for some Saturday morning cartoon gameplay. There you go. It's Saturday. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So if I leave this guy alive, he's gonna kill her. Wow, really? Kill yeah. who? Her. Who's she? She is the Estes. Uh, she's the firekeeper, so that lets that basically makes it so the bonfire works. The Phoenix keeper. So what I might do is I might kick him off. Whoa, wow. Eh. Can you do that? Eh. Goodbye. Wow, that was goodbye. Easy. Hey, you have ten flasks now. Uh, is that an upgrade or what? Uh. Basically, if I kindle a flame, like this one's pre-kindled, so you get 10 Estus Flask. But uh, if you kindle one, essentially spend humanity to kindle a flame, then yes, you get more you get more usage. Do you have enough humanity left this time? I remember that was a big issue last time. I wasted it because you were trying to get the Black Knight Sword, remember? Mm. It wasn't really my fault. Didn't even need it, because now you have this sword. It's true. Which one's better? Black Knight Sword. No. <laughs> oh, well, okay. Oh, okay. Whoa. Yeah, well... Crazy. Now, now you're now you're dead. So how do you feel about that guy? God, guy, come on, guy, guy, come on, guy. Did you just throw a pumpkin at you? What was no, a coconut? Was a, what was that? It was a grenade. Oh, it was a fire bomb essentially. Sorry, I'm like a coconut. Well, I don't think he's just sitting here throwing coconuts. But wow, there's a lot of guys. Wow, come on, guy. Ah, ten. When do I get to play again? You wanna play? Mm, will I screw right you here. up right now? No. You do whatever you want. Oh, there's community back here. I like I don't wanna screw you up. If I'm not gonna screw you up, I'll play this time. If you wanna play, I'm happy to hand the controller off and you can go have fun. We're trying I'll to play next part. Are you sure? Because we, we I don't wanna get everyone's hopes up thinking they're gonna see another great Tyler play. Plus, also, this is supposed to be a no death run if you remember correctly. Uh, have I died yet? I don't think so. Okay. I don't remember. <laughs> We're about to go to a, I'm, a very difficult portion. I'm of pretty the game. sure you haven't. So let's see if you can get through this with no deaths. All right. Let's and do it. Uh, I'll play in episode 11. Can't wait. Legs 11, as they say when you play craps. Actually, let's talk about craps. You ever played craps? <laughs> uh, I have played craps. Yes. It's actually a really fun game. Uh, I, whenever I go to casinos, though, I do play blackjack instead of craps. I enjoy blackjack, but I hate how much of a you put the money down, you you, you lost. There you go. Do, try again. See, but blackjack, if you know how to count cards. Do you, can you count cards? I can. Wow, that's crazy. You like Rain Man? I am not Rain Man. It's, how do you ma count? it's simple math. It really it's, is. That's simple, it's simple math. math. You have to count by ones to count cards. 
So two. I don't get you, it. So essentially, when a card comes out, <laughs> I like how. My, so you, I don't get it. So I I, I don't know <laughs> get that what you're shut. saying. <laughs> I don't get it. That would be that would be our first merch line. The I don't get it line. Me looking confused. So I don't get it. I don't get it. Um, so if you get a card two through six, you uh -huh. give it a value of um, plus one. Okay. If you get a card seven, eight, nine, you give it a value of zero. And if you get a, and if you see a card of ten through ace, you give it a value of minus one. The higher the count, the more high cards are in the deck. The more high cards are in the deck, the more it benefits the player uh, playing basic strategy versus the dealer because the dealer has to hit up to sixteen. So then you will have a higher bet. So, I don't get it. <laughs> Here's what I want to put into practice, though. We have to play Red Dead and have you gamble in Blackjack to put this into practice and I'd see if you can actually do it in the game. Uh, if, if the, I don't know, it would depend, because it only works if, like, there's not just an endless amount of cards. Like, it would I, would, be I would like to think number that the game is that fine detailed that they've actually realistically put a, a deck of cards and it's not just random numbers being pulled. In which case, then it would work. Okay, we will put this into practice. If you I'd be fail, interested. If you fail miserably, we'll assume that the game just randomizes what numbers get yes. pulled. Yes. But if you can actually, no, I've do actually it, made like I've gone to casinos and and in nights made a couple thousand dollars counting cards. We will put this into practice at some point on the channel. I'm going to speed run through this. I am excited mind. for that now. Anyway, let me talk about craps because I actually have a a kind of a strategy for craps too, and I can't remember it though. But <laughs> I actually. Oh uh, no. Oh, oh no, I died! Oh no, there goes the no death run! One, it, I said a one death run. You did not say a <laughs> one death no, run. No, I did not. Um, I, I don't know I, why I died there too, because that's just a stupid place to die. I forgot we were going for the no death I run. I know, so did I. I started talking, I stopped paying attention, then right when I did it, I was like, oh, come on, Damn I totally it. forgot. Well, I'll do a no death run next next playthrough. Will you? Yeah, I'll go 10 minutes without dying. We're gonna, I'm gonna get one all place. The way, I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna. <laughs> no, I'm gonna get all the way to the boss and hand you the control. Oh my. But I'm still doing my no death run next time. <laughs> You're just gonna stand in the corner? No, I'll find a way to cheat some other way. Um, okay, so crabs. If you don't know what crabs is, it's this big table and they throw out these dice and there's so many different things on the board. Like, it's a huge table. You can, you can bet on so many different outcomes and so many variations of outcomes and you can double down on bets of outcomes. It's, it's really insane. Like, you can literally play several... Like, you can play crap several different ways. And I, I went um, with my ex's dad once, and he's, like, a pro craps player. Like, he got kicked out of a casino that he went to for 10 straight years because he ended up costing the casino too much money, and they politely... Well, it's, just, it's just luck. It's not, though, when There's you betting strategy. his strategy. And his well, strategy it's still luck is it's based amazing. on amazing. The... Well, yeah, no, there's good betting strategy to hedge. Here's Did, the thing. What, what was his strategy? Here's his strategy. And I don't remember all the, uh, the multiplication... The multiple... Multiple. <laughs> oh my god. The division? Multiplications. Good enough. That went into it. But uh, essentially what he would do is he would bet on the on the coming out line. Okay. Right? So obviously whatever number that rolled, assuming it wasn't a crap, which if it's a crap on the coming out line, you get paid. Um, so whatever number it rolls, let's say it's a five, it goes up and you, you have now placed, placed a bet on five. You have, you have five working for you now. So if five gets rolled again, you get paid off on five, right? So when a number goes up on five, he places X amount let's say five dollars extra on that bet so he doubles down five dollars not doubling down but he, he bets another five on that and then he leaves that there and the next time a number is he put he comes out again a second time when that number is rolled it goes on to let's say it goes on to six and he places a bet on that and there's math there's like a because the odds of rolling a five is different to six mm -hmm. he breaks down the odds of what the difference is and then he makes an even bet so it might be seven dollars and not a five of the first one but it's an even bet so he does it three times. So he always has three numbers working for him. So he could keep going. You can fill it with like eight numbers. But the thing is, actually, I think it, there's, I think there's less as the max. I think it's six maybe. But the thing is, if you, if there's a seven and you crap out, everything on the board, as you know, it gets wiped. Mm -hmm. So if you're up on six numbers and you get wiped, and he's bet like X amount every number, that's a lot of money to lose because. That's what we were betting. He's actually betting like 50 bucks on all these things because he's a high roller. He enters a table with 3,000. Um, so oh. having those three up, there's a decent chance that like one of those numbers at least is going to get rolled. And betting the averages like he does, he essentially is either going to continue going upwards like in slow increments, or he's going to like, if he loses, it's not going to be enough to offset how much he keeps going up. So when he sticks to a table, as long as the table isn't crap, 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 as long as it's not a really like lame table, the way he bets his averages, he keeps just going up and up and up. 
So when we got there, and I, again, I don't remember this like strategy perfectly, but when we went with him, he gave me and my ex 300, and he's like, here, this is yours. Like, you do what you want. All I ask is, if you win more, give me the 300 back and keep your wings. And if you if you lose it, you lose it. It's That's legit. It have a good time. <laughs> yeah, he's a great guy. Um, we ended up both leaving. We played his strategy to the letter, and we ended up leaving extra $300. So we doubled our money. See, but the thing he, is, he was gambling with three thousand, so he left with like freaking an extra ten thousand. It was crazy. So that strategy, though, honestly, like, cause it's so one of the one of the roulette strategies that uh, people play by are essentially you double your bet constantly. You always bet on red, and you uh -huh. double your bet, and it's not gonna make you a ton, but it, in theory, if you have enough money, if you play a five dollar bet and you lose then you do a you know ten dollar bet and if you win that then you make your money back and you're mm -hmm. still breaking even so the only way you could really lose all your money let's say you're playing with four hundred dollars you would have to lose five then ten then twenty then forty then eighty all the way up to you'd have to lose like six or seven times in a row so in theory you're pretty safe because those are like one in like you know you can do the math but it's one in a lot so it's less than a percent chance so me thinking that was a great <laughs> idea I was up a ton of money from playing blackjack, and um, uh, oops. Um, my friend and I, every uh, Thanksgiving, during from Thanksgiving night, like, after we do all the stuff with our families, all the way up to um, Black Friday, mm -hmm. we'll play at a casino. It's just what we've always done for some reason, and that's what we do. So uh, we, uh, <laughs> we decided that we were going to, after being up like $1,000 in blackjack, that we are going to do this strategy just for fun. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> it got to the point where we had five hundred dollars on red, and it was we were almost out of money. This was our last wow. chance to basically break even, uh -huh. and we almost blew it. Like we oh. we were lucky because we we didn't. We essentially won the at the last moment we won and got red. But it was black, 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 oh. black, black, green, black, and we were so close to being screwed. Oh, we got invaded. Whoa. By Darth Vader? What is that? It's Man Eater Mildred. Wow. Is it dead yet? Nope. So is that like an actual person? No. This is an oh. invader in the game. So they have two what? types of invaders. They have invaders in the game and they have like other player invaders. What do you get from Luckily, we got, let's see, eight, whoa, we got 8,700 oh, wow. souls. So we should go level up real quick. Oh, that's crazy. Well, no. good. So you can play with those off, right? Uh, with the invasions, so the only way you can get invaded is if you're in human form. But the also, mm. also the only way that you can summon a phantom to help you on a boss battle is to be in human form. I did it because I don't feel like fighting uh, Kalog, so I'm going to summon somebody. Actually, the person that I just beat is the person I'm going to summon. Oh. So, um, so essentially, that's what we're going to do. We're going yeah. To also, every time he won three numbers, he he stepped it up. How much he bet on each number? Yeah, that's, so that that's way, pretty yeah, common. you keep yeah gaining and gaining. And gaining. It's pretty common. Um, so by the time you actually end up losing money, you've made so much it doesn't even matter. In theory, in theory, if it works, and again, he get got kicked out of a casino. So, and you know what's really cool about? I mean, I'm sure you do. Going to these casinos and gambling, and actually doing a strategy like that, and being able to keep feeding money to the table, and even if you just like break even and keep getting it back. Not only do you get free drinks, which is cool. If yeah, you, you get comp things if you drink. They sometimes chump your stays. I don't. They comp things, they comp your stays, and you make points, and like, by the end of the trip that we were there for a weekend, we went to the gift shop and bought all of this stuff for free. Like, jerky and food and trinkets and toys, with like, money that we had just earned from gambling money that we never lost. Yeah, that's uh, I love casinos. Yeah, no, they're really fun. If you're responsible, gamble, if you're, if gamble you're, responsibly. If you, the way you have to look at gambling is you're going and paying to have a good time. Mm -hmm. So, like, just like you would spend forty dollars to go to a Save movie. Save up for it. Um, take what you're willing you to lose. You have to assume. You have to assume that you're losing the money. Assume it's gone. Whatever you save up and you take, assume you no longer have that money. That is not your money anymore. You have spent that on a fun time. You yeah. have spent. If that If you're not enjoying it, you're doing it wrong. So don't don't be upset when you've lost it because that's what you spent your holiday on. You had a good time with your friends, you blah blah blah. And don't go overboard with it either. Don't we should go to a casino. I know we should. We really should. We'll play craps and we'll play blackjack. I play so much blackjack. I haven't gone to a casino in so long. And don't once you use that money, you've you've lost that money, man. Don't like don't keep putting don't money keep back. Don't keep putting money in because it it doesn't get better from there. Especially because at that point you want to be conservative if you do put more money in. And being conservative, you never end up winning anyway. So I'm summoning this phantom, but right here there's another person. This so is go just hard this is go just hard. a random person. Let's summon this person as well. Let's okay. have all these people help us. Okay. We have to wait for this person to get. Um, I don't get it. 
I don't get it. So, I don't get it. Hey, that's the person you just killed. That's the person I just killed. So now, <laughs> I'm going to summon this guy, Zex Webley. Zex Webley. So, we're all going to just gang up on this person. It's going to be on this uh, boss. It's but gonna you are going to gang up on them this episode? It's going to take three seconds, yes. Yes, okay. <laughs> and then we're going to... There's going to be the second episode in a row that we end beating a boss. Okay, cool. I'm down. Let's do it. We're traversing the white And line. then I'll play next episode. Yes. Then you will play next episode, and you'll try to get through Sen's Fortress, which okay. will be freaking hilarious to watch. No, I'll be good. Is it a spider? I hate spiders. It's, but it's a spider, but it's a sexy spider. I'm glad I'm not. Here it comes. Here, here, here comes the sexy, the sexy part of the spider. Oh, 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 oh! Wow. Okay. Like Owen Wilson. Oh wow. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh, can we wow. show this on our channel? Monetize. Monetize. Wow. Monetize. Wow. Hi. Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> <laughs> right, I wanted good. to see your face. Like, I mean, we saw good parts, but I want to see. Your oh face. no. Wow, you got a. Where's your oh, body? Where's wait, your... what? I'm Where... dead? You said it was easy. It was. You said it would take they three pissed... seconds. They... It should have. They pinned me against the wall. Who pinned you? The the, the lava You're... pinned me against the wall. I'm uh... dead. I told you it would take three seconds. Are you going to get your friends back? Or no. <laughs> That's it? They're gone? I have no more friends. Oh. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, wait, wow. Wait, did you do this just so we get to see that cutscene again? Oh wow! Oh wow! wow. <laughs> All right, fine. It looks like we're not gonna win this time. It looks like we have to do it next time. All right, guys, join us in the next episode where we kill a sexy spider. Apparently, <laughs> the sexiest of spiders. That time, a real no death run, and I'll grab the controller once he's killed that spider. There you go. If you want to see more of our Dark Souls series, click the tap right here. If you right want to see there. a different video, click the tap right here. And if you want to watch something, I went too far. He he. Sometimes he gets so ahead of himself, and his mouth moves faster than his brain, and he freezes up, and it's adorable. So I don't get it. I don't get it. Share with 17 we friends. Was... <laughs>